Howdy everyone, Tesla Trooper here bringing you another Commander Wars replay. Today we're going to be watching Everglass and Karen play on At Last, which is an Advanced Wars by web map. Today they're going to be playing as Karen and Jugger. Starting off here with Jugger, he's from the Bolt Guard, uh, premiering in Advanced Wars Dual Strike. And essentially he's the robo version of Flak. His uh, units have luck and disfortune at the expense of their firepower, and when you sit them inside the co-zone they get a little more, and then when you pop their power and superpower, he can either have a super strong strike or hit like a paper towel. So we'll see how it works out for Everglass. Moving on to Karen here, she's a wilderness survival expert from Brown Desert. Her day-to-day -day powers allow her to better use a wilderness terrain to give her additional two stars on all wilderness, so we're going to talk about uh, forests, mountains, and I believe rivers as well. So her power uh, decreases the movement cost again on the wilderness terrain by one, not a flat uh, down to zero like Lash, and then her uh, superpower uh, increases uh, your health per each wilderness tile traveled and boosts firepower by each terrain star and decreases the enemy's defense by each terrain star in wilderness. So there you have it. Let's get the tanks rolling. Alrighty, so starting in the top right we have Jugger as Everglass or Everglass as Jugger. And in the bottom left, we have Karen as Karen. Starting out here, uh, pretty uh, standard rollout. Uh, both players moving into the mid. Both have bought in bikes and are pushing towards their comm towers here. Um, the first thing to note is uh, Karen has uh, foregone capping the uh, port there on her portion and is uh, pushing forward with that uh, motor motorbike unit. Maybe we're going to see a little bit of uh, early game aggression. No, she just pulls into the mid there to capture that third base and the infantry on the old base has uh, popped up to the port. Um, she is behind though in the factory uh, cap race here. Uh, ideally, you want to go and uh, capture that factory with the first infantry that you produce there, racing them over the mountains to uh, jump on that first, which she does do on turn 5 here. But other than that, just pushing infantry up to the top there, starting to contest the mid. Um, Everglass has a early game recon out and has even started pushing the building there just just to the uh, left there of his HQ. And then he decides to play a, a second recon from his base. So we're gonna see a little bit of early game recon before we uh, move into the tank game I guess. So Karen pushing into the mid there has a couple snipers uh, hopefully to secure the cap of that lab there. Everglass's uh, recon moves out to the left side of the map and uh, dunks on Karen's infantry nearly killing it there on the left side. Um, there's going to be no response from Karen at that point. The tank's too far away to uh, get up to it. At this turn, uh, Karen successfully uh, moved off that uh, left flank factory and is moving to the right there to capture her heliport. So rather than capping with that sniper there on the lab, uh, Karen decides to take a shot at that uh, bike, bike unit and uh, knock it off and then moves to cap on... Uh, Everglass's city there in the right, which Everglass responds with a recon and an anti-aircraft gun, uh, destroying what little uh, hope uh, Karen had of pushing up towards his HQ at that point in the game. 
and then reinforces with a medium tank, heavy tank as well, I'm sorry. So Everglass at this point has brought down a APC with a mech loaded in it. We'll see how uh, Karen responds to this. Um, APC and mech or sniper pairings are very powerful and if you're not paying attention they can uh, be quite painful to, uh, to uh, deal with. So top left, Karen moves a recon in, destroys a uh, infantry unit, opening the way for her tank to engage uh, Jugger's recon and nearly kills it. We're on the uh, southeast side of the map. Uh, she's now engaging on the lab there, or uh, missile silo there, trying to weaken down the uh, infantry that are moving in. A Jugger uh, places himself in with the heavy tank, rolls out and deletes that uh, infantry there on the missile silo, and then brings his recon down to uh, slap the infantry on the airport, effectively locking it down with a uh, anti-aircraft gun as well. So, won't be seeing any helicopters this turn from Karen. So at this point in the game, uh, both uh, both players are using uh, hover tech to uh, uh, traverse that middle uh, ocean area that prevents them to reinforce their uh, their uh, lab side of the base. Um, Karen with a hover tank and a hover artillery, and Everglass with a hover artillery here. Um, it really alters the way this uh, map plays as you don't have to uh, go around the mountain pass and the forest there to make it to the weaker side of uh, your uh, map. So with that, um, Karen ends her turn with a Neo tank and drops her uh, tank out of range of the uh, artillery there, moving it south to sit on that city. Um, I, I think I would have rather seen it up north there to help protect uh, itself and keep uh, Everglass from pushing farther south, which he does here, and then um, also not protecting that tank there with the artillery, forcing uh, uh, Everglass to... Uh, decide to finish off that tank or get shot by their artillery or some or take a hit from the neo tank um, and then also I neglected to mention the past turn uh, Karen engaged uh, the AA gun bringing it farther south away from Everglass's airport and allowed Everglass to uh, build a attack copter without uh, the possibility of it being retaliated against in the airbase. So this turn, Everglass uh, moves to protect his uh, his hover artillery. Um, it's already taken a little bit of damage, but he moves out a second infantry there with his uh, APC for the reinforcing it. So he's not going to take any further damage this turn. And then here we go uh, down south again with the heavy tank and the AA gun mopping up uh, Karen's. Uh, hovercraft that he had uh, down on the map there. Um, it's it's important to uh, engage and then threaten the enemy. You can't uh, you can't always play it safe and uh, try and posture the entire time. You have to make uh, risky plays in order to uh, to uh, reap the reward of them in some events. Uh, especially when you're trying to uh, prevent the uh, enemy there from uh, stacking up on your uh, airbase there and preventing it from uh, producing aircraft. Um, uh, so at that point, to that end though, he does get a hit on the AA gun and really weakens the amount of uh, 
damage the AA gun can do to the point that he can bring out an attack helicopter at this point. So turn 12 for Jugger, he retreats that AA gun immediately and brings down an anti-aircraft, uh, I'm sorry, an anti-tank gun. It does have anti-aircraft capabilities, um, but only two helicopters, so not full anti-aircraft capabilities. So takes this uh, time and mops up the sniper squad that was hiding there in the forest but that brings that infantry in range of the artillery there. To the north, um, Jugger rolls out and puts his uh, hover tank and his hover artillery slight, slightly closer to the enemy, and he also has a helicopter to uh, threaten them as well. A second one, I'm sorry. Karen rolls out with the threat of the uh, anti-aircraft gun uh, minimized, rolls out and deletes a recon unit. Um, I would have probably preferred that he attacked the one of the uh, motorbike units there to allow the neo-tank to engage the uh, heavy tank. Um, even though it would put him in range of the anti-tank gun, uh, Jugger's uh, uh, power with the uh, percentage chance for reduced damage, it, it might be a decent trade-off. And then there's always the helicopter there that can uh, also help with the damage output. Although it's really hard to say as there's not a lot of uh, units to reinforce him. So, turn 13, Jugger pops off his power, which further increases the firepower or chance that firepower increases or decreases, and manages to uh, delete the uh, helicopter there with the help of the uh, anti tank gun, the AA gun, and a second infantry unit. Then he moves out and directly engages. Cairns, Neo Tanks with his heavy tank. Um, in Commander Wars, Neo Tanks and Heavy Tanks have the same firepower and armor loadout, so they're an equal match in terms of that, with uh, the exception that the Neo Tank has a plus one movement range and it costs an additional $2,000. So, up north, uh, Everglass is uh, slapping down some AA guns, he gets a decent luck roll with uh, the uh, hover tank and the other units that he have there have uh, decently reduced the uh, amount of HP on his uh, recon and tank that uh, Jugger is facing. So with uh, that, Karen responds with her superpower and begins rolling out, um, man almost manages to destroy that artillery unit there on the city, and then also nearly takes out Jugger's uh, attack helicopter that he has there in the north. Um, Karen does have a slight reduction to firepower when she's on buildings, since she is a, a wilderness uh, CO. So that, I believe, saved uh, Everglass's attack helicopter there. So to the south, she moves out and nearly uh, destroys a, uh, a infantry unit. The, uh, the power from uh, Juggers really saving uh, his uh, unit's bacon there, giving them a little boost to uh, their attack and defense, as well as the... Uh, the luck bonus. With Jugger's turn, he's uh, slowly carving away at uh, Karen's front line to the southeast there, manages to destroy her commander unit, and uh, is uh, popping uh, targets of opportunity there, snipers taking some damage, and uh, moving in for the cap. Uh, I'm not sorry, not, not cap, just moving in in general. And 
positioning to try and uh, prevent his uh, heavy tank from being engaged by the, the uh, attack helicopter next turn. So, and that's exactly what happens here. Um, Jugger manages to hold on with one HP and the snipers don't have enough oomph to uh, finish the job either. So Jugger lives on to fight for another turn. Up north things aren't going well for Cairn. Uh, a 6 HP uh, anti-aircraft gun um, was in, it was engaged the last turn by that hover tank and brought it down and then the transport copter effectively blocked off its ability to engage the uh, attack copter that was built by Everglass the last turn so he has to move that into the mid to uh, get some use out of it Turn 15 for Jugger, he rolls out with the attack helicopter and slaps down the uh, light tanks that uh, Karen moved up north and retaliates again against that AA gun with his hover tank. Um, at this point, it's uh, looking pretty grim for Karen as her frontline units are really taking a beating here and Everglass has uh, moved up. He's got a full health uh, anti-aircraft gun that is, I'm sorry, anti-tank gun that is uh, shredding helicopters along with a second anti-aircraft gun that uh, deals with Karen's helicopter that she had built from the factory the previous turn. So he rolls out with a second attack helicopter and starts directly attacking uh, Karen's units on her factory there. Uh, if she is to respond to that attack helicopter, that would require her AA gun to move onto the factory to deal with it, effectively blocking the factory from producing anything this turn. And now Everglass is getting in range of uh, capping uh, Karen's airport as well. Uh, Karen's turn, she responds to the north, manages to destroy uh, the hover tank there with her 5 HP tank, and engages the uh, attack copter with her 3 HP AA gun, but now it's 1 HP and it's essentially sacrificed the next turn to... Uh, to be destroyed by either an attack helicopter or maybe even an infantry. So, Ever Karen decides to uh, go for uh, Jugger this turn and deletes him with her anti-aircraft gun, uh, not opting to uh, attack that attack helicopter, and scoots out with a hover tank there into the middle left side of the map but produces uh, two AA guns in response. So Everglass moves out with his uh, anti-aircraft, uh, or attack helicopters, geez. Deletes the uh, 5 HP tank and then retreats his helicopters up to the middle a little bit. He's probably going to lose that uh, infantry in the top, top left, but uh, he'll have two helicopters and a mech and a transport copter to deal with uh, everything else up there that Karen has. So this turn he does end up capping the bottom city and the bottom uh, airport from Karen. And has really uh, destroyed any resistance there on the right hand flank of the map. So Karen's turn, she tries to put some damage on that transport copter. Uh, it, it manages to survive, so it will be of some use in the next turn. 
and with turn 17 here, uh, Jugger pops his power again. Um, at this point, I think it's a pretty sealed deal, so um, we'll we'll be watching the final moments here of uh, Cairn as uh, Jugger finishes his uh, world domination. And there you have it folks, Jugger the Bumbling Bot caps his way to the finish. And with that we'll take a little 
look at the results here. As you can see, the funds were pretty even until about a day 17. Uh, day 16 uh, was really bad for uh, Karen as he'd lost his entire right flank there. And after that, Everglass capped everything on that portion of the map. And you can see in the income and buildings where uh, he started losing uh, support there. And really, uh, day 15, um, day 15 into day 16 uh, is what ended up uh, being the major Im major impact engagements that uh, brought the game to a close. And with that, we see the final results. Jugger here bringing in a total of 394, and Karen bringing in 269. Congratulations to Everglass on the victory. Well, folks, that about does it. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And if you think you might enjoy Commander Wars, come visit us on the Discord and uh, download it from GitHub. The links are below. Thanks to Robosturm for making it possible. And have a great day, everyone.